soil brothers and soil sisters. Welcome to another episode of What's in Our Freeze Dryer. All I can say is, I'm so excited and I just can't hide. Nope, enough of that. Let's go freeze dry some eggs. We're gonna start with let me grab a bowl because I got a lot of eggshells, y'all. And you know we don't waste anything around here, so I'm gonna grab me a bowl. Um I wanna show y'all the difference in these egg sizes first. So we went and got eggs from a friend because our girls are over at a friend's house and she gave me eggs look at this these are eggs from chickens all of them this is a bantam which are small petite little chickens they are so cute but I'm not going to use the bantam eggs I don't think I don't think this is a regular chicken egg y'all look at this thing amazing so you know we are not going to waste anything even the shells let me explain to you the shells I make calcium for my um tomato plants and pepper plants so what I do is once all my eggs are clean and I have 14 I think it's 14 we're going to count these y'all count these with me because I want to make sure oh I ain't supposed to be putting it in here Golly, I messed up already. Anywho, let's count these eggs. I wanted to put them in here, but it's okay. So let's swap this around a little bit. So, um, what I'm going to do is each tray I'm going to put about 14 eggs in. I'm going to keep my shells because we'll compost some shells. And some shells I use to make a calcium, um, make calcium out of. What I do is I'll bake these for about, oops, good thing I cleaned them. I'll bake these for about, um, that's a little egg, about three minutes in the oven or in the air fryer, doesn't matter. For about three minutes and then I put them I crush them up and I stick them in a container which I'll show you in a minute that container that I put them in I pour vinegar over top of them and you'll see the eggshells bouncing around and dancing and having fun and um then I'll go maybe like the next day or something I'll go and pour some out in the garden on the tomatoes and potato plants have no issues with blossom and rot when I do that but some of these I just um, put them in a compost pile okay how many eggs we got y'all should be 13 maybe 4 7 13 this will make number 14 so each tray I'm gonna pour about 14 eggs in these are my shells which are supposed to be in this bowl, but I was a little confused or something. So I am going to beat these. All right, and we're going to pour these over here. And I'm going to do this right. 
pour my eggs in my bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and crack the rest of them. be back on track okay now that we got that out of the way so we got one bowl here I'm gonna do a second bowl oh you know what I'm about to mess up let me do this so I don't put my eggs in with the shell because that's what I was about to do oh my goodness so all that um you know we don't normally wash our eggs but I washed them because I went on and washed them because um, I'm going to go ahead and crack them all and freeze dry them. So each tray, I have four trays, you know. Each tray, I'm going to put 14 eggs in. I think you can fit about 18 eggs per tray. As you know, my husband eat a lot of eggs. He eat about six eggs a day. So we'll reconstitute these at the end. After we freeze dry them, see how Mr. Bobby like those. All right, so I'm gonna bring it in kind of close so we can fill these trays up. So um, to me, it's easier to just pour my liquid in the tray while it's still in the machine rather than trying to fill them on the counter and bring them and put them in the machine. Or I could pre-freeze them in the freezer and um and then I won't have that issue either. But this is easy too. My machine has been cooling down. So it is ready to go. You do not have to um you don't have to beat your egg. You can actually put them in the machine. Crack, I mean, just hold them. All right, let me bring it down a little bit. So I have my four bowls of eggs. No seasoning, just plain eggs. left-handed <laughs> look we got to get all that out of there but as I was saying um, I didn't season my eggs because if I decide I want to bake a cake or make some brownies or something I have eggs and we will reconstitute these um, an egg for my husband to see what he think about freeze-dried eggs 
25 years of eggs. We can get so many eggs, y'all, just from having a couple chickens. You can get so many eggs, and what you don't want is to waste your eggs because you have too many. So I'm going to push this last tray in. Y'all see that ice around the side of the machine? All right. Push that tray in. See, it's ready. So I'm going to hit continue, and it'll do its thing. We'll come back and see what our eggs are doing in a little while. All right, soil fam. So it's been... 23 hours. And we want to check our eggs and see what they looking like. So, I just opened the valve. Let me see. Did I open the door enough? I did. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't mix this one up too well. But, I think we dry. So, let's move on to the next process. No defrost, because I think we are done. Get all of our trays out. Look at how. And it's separated down here, which is pretty cool. Oh, maybe not. See that? That wet spot? Oh, man. So we do need more dry time. I should have checked them all, right? Yeah. These seem pretty dry. But I'm going to put them all back in because that one here is just this one little spot. That's crazy. Let's see. Let me see something. Let's try and see. So what I'm going to use is a spatula. Oh, I might not need a spatula. <laughs> Let's dry. All right, so let's go ahead. Yeah. It's just that one spot that frightened me. So I'm going to keep that one spot that I'm worried about because what I am going to do is cook a little bit of egg for my husband. Let me get a little bone. And we can talk about how to reconstitute the egg. How much do you use and all that good stuff first I want to get it all out of the pan and in my bowls because the thing with freeze dried foods you don't want them to sit out too long before you can get them sealed up
Oh, and that's the thing. It's over there. The frosting. This remind me of the milk. When I freeze dried milk, it's almost like the same consistency. Powdery, very soft and light, fluffy. This, I'm going to use, I have two um, mason jars and I'm, I have my moisture packs inside. I'm going to get them filled up. See how much we can fit in these two mason jars. How do you do this without making a mess? Wash the meats. So I have moisture packs in the bottom of my jars. And let's see how many we may need. So what I think I may do is put this in a Mylar. Let me grab it. Okay. So I'm going to put the day, date on the Mylar. Because, and I'm going to put one oxygen absorber. So when you use these bags, they will actually hold for longer. Like 25 years. So it's 
So let's go cook the egg and see what reconstituting this look like and taste like. Because my husband is home and he can taste it. All right. So first we want to seal up everything. So move my mason jars to the side. I have my eggs in this mylar. I wrote today's date on it. And I wrote raw because these are raw eggs. You can also cook your eggs and preserve them that way. But today we just preserve all raw. So I want to make sure I get a good seal. I have an oxygen absorber inside. Now you can see the seal. We're good to go for years and years to come. Raw eggs. Good for bacon. You can fry eggs, however you want your eggs. We got that out of the way. Now let's move this one over. And I'll write on this lid. I'm going to seal these also with this jar sealer. And what you do is you just pop this top on with no ring stick this part inside the top pump it about 10 15 times and what it do is it'll get all the air out of there pull it top off your jaw should be sealed i'm gonna put this ring on just because and i'm gonna write on here too eggs in parentheses, I'm going to put raw. 11, 22. This jaw, I'm going to leave it like this. That way we'll have a jaw open for the most part. This one can go on the shelf for long, long, longer than this one. Because this one won't seal. But I'm going to write on it. Raw eggs, just in case. my husband decided to cook he know exactly what's in here so now we have our eggs stored for long this one will go on the shelf this one will go in our, our container with all of our freeze dried meals this one will go on the counter because we can use this every day So what I'm supposed to get is two tablespoons of powdered eggs. I'm going to deem this as two tablespoons. With these two tablespoons, I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. This is our egg. Two tablespoons egg, two tablespoons of water. Yes. 
So as you know, I am not the egg eater, but my husband is. So we gonna fry this egg for him right quick and let him taste it and see what freeze dried egg. Is it anything different? Does it just taste like egg? But preserved for a long, long time. I think that looked pretty good, y'all. Look like you can do this with a spoon too. Alright, so let's get ready to cook this egg and see. Did it take away from the taste of an egg? I want to make sure I got it all mixed up here. salt in there for them, pepper, just a tiny bit. So all I have in my pan is a little bit of butter and olive oil. We have our one egg. I'm going to put a tiny bit of our favorite reddening real salt in there this might be like a half a egg as a matter of fact <laughs> well look at that cook up like an egg so I mean we know it's an egg My husband doesn't like his eggs cooked like a lot, so that's about good. It only took like a few seconds. Babe, you ready to try this egg for us? So let's see. All right, y'all, we have our tester here, Mr. Bobby. You have one egg. You want to show us your egg? He love eggs, y'all. That <laughs> <laughs> tastes like an egg. Mm -hmm. Didn't take away no flavor. Mm -hmm. That's the freeze dry? That's freeze dried. So I what I did was I put two um so I free I have fourteen eggs in each tray. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put two I got two ball jars, quart jars, right? Full of eggs. One I sealed this one. I sealed it so we can put it on the shelf for long-term storage. I have one on the counter that we can use now. And then I put some in, not one, some in a Mylar bag, which is good to go in our tote with our preserved food for years to come. So, freeze-dried eggs for the win. Very good. Good. So, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What else? Hit that bell so you will be notified when we release more videos. Until next time, peace.